up guys I'm at the Overland Expo in Flagstaff Arizona and I'm at the four-wheel campers booth I love these guys I think these guys make one of the best pop-up campers for uh, trucks you know the slide-ins and uh, let's take a look and the reason why I like them is because they they're looks like they're really well made they pop down nice and low profile you don't have to worry about uh, the wind blowing you around for the most part very low profile so you save on your fuel save on your weight and uh, you get a lot for your money though I mean it's packed with all kinds of stuff so let's take a look inside one of the models here so here's a smaller one this is a Swift model this is probably one of the smaller ones they make look at that only 925 pounds seventeen thousand dollars and if you have it fully equipped it's uh, nineteen thousand but this is pretty cool if you have a little tiny truck like a Tacoma you can actually um, get yourself quite a bit of amenities so if you're a hunter fisherman or just a camper in general this pulls out into a queen size bed you put those cushions over there so you have a queen size bed up here or maybe an RV size queen anyway and then if you want to wake up and cook it's got a two burner stove to cook make some coffee wash the dishes brush your teeth kind of thing over there here's your fridge for your beers vegetables meats and whatnot there's your heater so you can keep this place warm in the winter bunch of cubbies right there so you can store all your gear all these flaps open up except for that one there and this one here so you have flaps on the left flaps on the right for a cross breeze and you can actually get a winter package where you can actually get these uh, more insulated so there's an air gap to keep this thing cool in the summer and warm in the winter and up top you got a, a vent this one doesn't have a fan on it this one just has a vent but you can get one with a fan i'm sure but yeah that's pretty cool and then there's storage underneath all of these uh seats right here so pretty cool let me back out of here so yeah this one's the smaller one this one doesn't have a toilet in here and this is just enough to sleep and eat get the job done pretty nice and you can see the gas struts they pop up the top and then it obviously comes down nice and low pretty nice so here's one mounted in a truck this is a fleet model take a look at it outside so that's a an older tundra they got these steps here in the hitch look in here like this one's again 975 pounds 17,000 base price 23 grand if you have it all pimped out so same kind of thing here here's your kitchen two burner stove cabinets your heater uh, more cabinets over here here's your fridge a little tight getting in that's inside here more cabinet space there lots of prep space there there's your sink to uh, brush your teeth wash the dishes there is that two burner stove there's all your controls, USB outlets and plugs. There's your dinette. You can sit two people right there. And there's your bed. Pull this out and make a queen size bed. Or an RV size queen size bed. This one has two vents. So there's a vent over there with no fan. And then this one has a fan that goes out or in. Yeah, this is nice. So a little bit bigger on this one. There's a mirror right there. But everything you need to go camping. Only thing it doesn't have is a toilet. And some people don't want a toilet to be it or not. Some people don't want to go poop inside these things. They want to do it outside. So you can sleep and eat, cook all inside here. Pretty nice. So let's move down the line over here. So over here, you got the Hawk check this thing out so this one looks like it doesn't have hardly any of the gear in here it's pretty much just your base model this one's 850 pounds 10,995 bucks 14,000 fully equipped so basically what this is is just enough to sleep like if you're a hunter fisherman whatever you just want the basics just you your dogs or whatever so this will actually fold down and become see that that comes down becomes a bed 
that and then you have another bed up there so if you have a hunting partner your buddies one can sleep up there one can sleep down here and then this goes back up like that back up into a couch you got a heater to keep you warm if you're out in the cold environments you got a battery in there to charge up your phone and whatnot this one has a stove two burner stove no sink in this one you just clean up outside with your water outside look at all this space though you got a bench over here you can put all your gear so if you have a lot of gear this is the one to get if you have a lot of stuff you want to carry little knickknacks over there same thing with the windows you have a vent over there and a power fan on this side look at this and the bed again pulls out comes all the way out like that let's see what this looks like with all of them look at that so this is basically your keep it simple camper for 11,000 bucks get a nice big bed out top another bed down here place to cook your food and coffee stay warm just enough to get out of the elements I like this and the cool thing about going with one of these models is is you could take this off and use your truck like a normal truck instead of buying a big RV, right? Like a van or something. Okay. So yeah, I actually really like this one. That's nice. All right, so this one's called the Hawk model. So this one is 17,995 bucks, 29 G's fully equipped. So this one has a lot more features. This is the one with the uh, dinette towards the, the front over there. Heater, two burner stove, sink, power station, thermostat. There's your uh, dinette for the two people. Fridge, st storage, storage. I think you can put a toilet right here, one of those portable toilets. Yeah, there's a porta potty right there. That's kind of nice. So, in a pinch, if you had to go potty, you could just close this up, sit right here, do your business. You know, it's not the most glamorous thing, but hey, at least you have a place to go if you gotta go. You gotta go, you gotta go. All right? This one has that winter package, it looks like. Yeah. So you have the window here and then this insulation barrier. So you have the air gap. And this actually folds down into a bed, so you can sit a kid here. I don't think an adult can sleep here, but a kid for sure can sleep here. And then obviously um, two people can sleep up there. Vent and then a fan and a mirror. This is nice though. For such a small compact trailer, you get quite a bit. So look at this one. So this is a Dodge over here. 2500 heavy duty with the utility flatbed kind of deal. These flatbeds are nice because you get all kinds of cargo. Once you go with the flatbed, you can start putting cargo boxes all over the bottom. That's nice. Four wheel pop up campers, the Hawk model. Normally they're entry in the back, but uh, this is cool. When you go with a flatbed, you can go with a, a side entry. And the cool thing about this is with the side entry, you get a little two-person dinette right here. There's your two-burner stove, your sink, storage. There's your furnace to keep you nice and warm when it's cold. Dometic fridge. Got a two-way fan in and out. Hey, it's a mirror. Look at this. Can open up and get the airflow through here tons of space for sleeping man that's nice led lights i like this it's nice and compact and uh, i don't know what's inside here some of these have storage for a toilet and then some don't uh, i don't know how this one's set up i don't want to dig in there underneath the seats is more storage as well but i really like these four wheel campers four wheel pop-up campers because they pop down and become very low profile when you're driving. Yeah, that's nice. Very nice. See, that's what it looks like when you don't have the camper on there. So what's nice about these is it's dual purpose. You're not stuck with just a camper. You know, you could take the camper off and use it as a flatbed. So it's like dual purpose. You don't always have to have a camper on there. But then when you want it as a camper, you just throw this on there and you're good to go. And then here's the Grand B. This is the, uh, the big one. So this is on a long bed truck. I think it's, uh, it might be eight feet, I don't know. But this is your, your biggest model here. 1,095 pounds, as equipped, 1,400 pounds, 
18 grand base model, 26 grand fully equipped. So yeah, this is a big boy right here. LED lights outside, the door with the screen. And then here's your fridge, Dometic fridge. There's your porta potty right there. Some storage, fire extinguisher, your heater, electric outlets, two burner stove. Nice. There's your fridge again. There's your sink. This one has a lot more cubbies because the bed is longer. There's a nice big bench here for you to sit down. There's your table if you want to just have morning coffee with your significant other. Pretty nice. That thing actually folds down into a bed as well. So if you have a kid who wants to sleep right there, you could do that. And a nice big bed up top. Again, this thing slides out to make a nice big bed. Pretty cool. Here's your vent and your two-way fan. So if you need a little bit more elbow room, this does have a little bit more space for sure. Nice. Here's what it looks like on the outside. Nice big windows on the sides, by the way. I like it. All right, guys, so there you go. That's a quick look at four-wheel campers at the Overland Expo. Hit like if you like this video. It helps me out a lot. I appreciate it. And leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about four-wheel campers. I think these are one of the best out there, personally. They're made in Woodland, California, by the way. Northern California. I'm from Northern California, so that's always cool. Woodland's a cool town. It's out in the country. And there's their website, 4wh.com. Well, they put it up. They got easy wheels.